What is going on gamers? Welcome back to our continuous stray coverage launch day here on Gamers Purgatory. What's going on, Just Casein, man? Thank you very much. You've been following us for one year, two months, 24 days, and 13 hours. I appreciate you so much. How are you doing tonight? Nestor here will tell us more a little bit about Elliot and maybe drop a little bit of a hint as to where we can find this cloth slash blanket. I'm doing very well. Very happy to be playing this game after the long wait. Unfortunately, I gotta play it on the Steam right now even though my PlayStation 4 is working. But my PlayStation 5, however, uh, needs to have an HDMI port replacement and then I can play it. So a minor break, but nothing serious. I'm enjoying playing this on my Steam right now. Probably the best move because if I wanted to do any traveling or anything like that, at least I can take my laptop with me. And for those of you watching as well, I also advise you all that yes, play this game like a gamer, but if you get stuck, honest to God, think like a cat and it will work, I promise you. Yeah, it's still good that it's not a major repair and uh, it does suck that it went up, but I'm grateful that we weren't too far into the... Um, PlayStation 5 life to where there's not too too many um, there's not too too many PlayStation 5 exclusives everything was able to transfer back over to the PC alright I think we need to go talk to grandma first Oh, 
Well, and the benefits to having all consoles and a computer as well is that if one goes up, chances are you might be able to play it on something else if you're lucky. Okay, so Grandma wants an electric cable. The only place I know to get an electric cable around here is from the bargain man or the, uh, I forget what they call him. Let's take a quick look here. Barter man. Yeah, barter man. Said it right. The barter man's going to be up here. Now you can meet and talk to these characters. The barter man's right over here. He does have your electric cable. Yeah man, uh, it was actually announced back when the PlayStation 5 reveal happened. And uh, I wanted it from day one because I'm a very, very huge cat lover and uh, I love cat games and stuff. And being that this, I don't think Square Enix had anything to do with its development, but it does have heavy Final Fantasy feels to it. taken every bit of like almost like I said in the beginning of the stream it was two and a half years to uh, be released I got to do a beta test maybe a month ago on just the gameplay but the story along with the gameplay is it's really nice so he needs some detergent <coughs> the only place I know to get that's going to be from the laundromat Yes, robots need a laundry mat, go figure. So we'll go back down to our handy dandy little sign down here. Ooh, there's a cloth right there. I wonder if it's uh, anything I can use. Interesting. Okay, you get your little sign. Grandmom's clothing, Super Spirit Laundry, and Elliot Programming. Look at the Super Spirit Laundry. It's going to be this way. And how are we going to go about getting in? Let's see. Yes, I do. I got um, four cats. Well, wait a minute. Six cats. I'm sorry. I forgot about the two newer ones. We were kitty sitting, but then they became our own. Okay, so that dude's not very healthy. That's most definitely where we're probably going to have to go. Oops. certainly got my guy out of the building. Okay. Let's see if we can get back in while he's out there running his mouth. So we're in here, we need to find detergent. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Now we can go get the cable from the barter man. But yeah, they are definitely my fur babies. Love them to death. Uh, I certainly will pop up pictures later on. I got dogs too. I'm not against dogs or anything. You know, I just happen to be a little more fonder of the kitties. Cable, now let's go back and talk to Grandma. Mom. Oh, Yep, that's where we're on our way to be now. Let's go talk to them a moment. I'm not going to be 
Awful demanding, motherfucker. Understandable. I thank you for jumping in on the uh, stream with me, man, uh, Keeson. Uh, hope to see you again. And uh, enjoy the enjoy the um, final edited stream on our YouTube channel. Appreciate you yet again. Buddy, you lead the way and I shall follow.
Diddy. Big area to be searching. found out. Uh... So 
that's definitely the weapon we need. 1.21 gigawatts. What's that sound like, everybody? Back to the future. A gigawatts. 1.21 gigawatts, Marty. sound hard at all.
one in, in the barrel. And that's of course what we have hoped to have happen by the end of the game for us. Um, us reunited with our cat family and some idea what the hell happened to humanity.
wires and things out. Yeah, 
of the worthy gallery to continue on with our mission. And we'll let these PlayStation downloads continue tomorrow.
She's a relentless. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry to hear you're not getting a lot of sleep, but hopefully you can get you know, that sort of for the first video from earlier today to upload and then I'm gonna crash. Wife and I gotta take care of a few things tomorrow. 
Uh, yes, yes, I do. And when he got it in the game, he actually acted like a cat as well. Like, you know, like if you were to put a harness on your real life cat, he kind of like got low, slunk him, and slunk down low on the ground, would take a couple staggered steps and fall over. And then you get used to it. So that was kind of neat that they kind of did it that way. Oh yes, definitely. Here I'll meow again for you, Corvus. Those things were a fucking pain in the ass to get out. To get away from before you actually had your weapon. Still a little bit of a pain in the ass to get around, but a little bit more easier. fighting these things.
the other ones just kind of died. Judge how many eggs and shit that are up in this bitch, but you can't really fucking tell when he's that the walls are gonna do that bitch shit. So this has been like a Final Fantasy meets Kitty Cat Adventure type gameplay with a little bit of uh, 80s throwback tropes like Back to the Future. I feel like even though you got like fucking giant killer fucking ticks and fleas coming at you that it's like a throwback to like Alien. <laughs> Because earlier you ran into a character which is a robot named Doc, and it's literally like Doc Brown.
jump up that little curve. This last thing you could have totally got me. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get some sleep here in a little bit, and then I'm going to go and, uh, you know, get back on this and later on. Hi, Dami, how you doing? Yeah, I caught on to your new name yesterday. Uh, I hope you were able to find out some more information on your teaching thing that you were having problems with. something you can do for putting all that time in with the understanding that you would be able to start your teaching. I mean, that's, false, that's like false advertising in my opinion. And they're scam level type shit. Say it's okay, Tommy, but I'll be upset for you. How's that? Sucking bastards. Well, definitely don't give up trying to get that figured out, Tommy, because you put a lot of work into that and you shouldn't have to go through a whole bunch of hoops just to do, get to your career.
this one certainly was not what I had in mind walking into. Jesus, there goes my only good weapon. That disheartening news, I do feel like it is a good place to stop the video for the evening or slash morning in my case. I do have to get some sleep and get up and do a few things around the house. And alright gamers, that brings us to the end of yet another video. So do me a favor, if you are watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and the share button. It helps out more than you realize. Then I want you to head on over to our main page, which is found on YouTube. Over there, you can see all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like. Hit that like and subscribe button. Flicker ding dong so that way you don't miss out on more kick-ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until the next video, I will be seeing you. Peace. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> what? What? What?